If you've been to the movie theater in the last four years, you will be noticing a large amount of empty seats, regardless of what night you attend. Opening nights of movies used to be packed. You used to have to pre-book weeks in advance, especially if it was a massive blockbuster movie. Now, pre-booking tickets is a thing of the past because you never have to stress about finding a seat. A lot of the time you'll walk in and realize you might be the only one in that movie theater, especially on opening night, which I've been seeing more and more of, which is wildly disappointing. I saw Challenger's opening night and I could safely say, I think there was 10 people in that movie theater, if that, and that was wild to me. Now it is safe to assume that lockdown played a huge part in the decline of movie theaters because during that time, everyone turned to streaming, realizing that sitting at home, hitting play on your remote was way easier than heading out into the world to watch a film. However, there was a slight bump up in moviegoers after lockdown came to an end, mostly because everyone wanted to just be outside and do things they did before lockdown. People were once again a little more adventurous. However, after that point, things returned to how they were. People were retreating back indoors, preferring the accessibility of movies from their couch, which leads us into my next point, competition. For a long time, Netflix dominated streaming services, as we all know. I think it actually began as a DVD rental base from online. You could rent a DVD and it would be mailed to you. I actually think it used to be called Love Film. I don't know if it's the same company or something completely different, but I want to say it was Love Film turned into Netflix. However, many more competitors have emerged over the years, competing with the streaming giant from Disney Plus to Amazon Prime, HBO Max, Discovery Plus, Paramount Plus, Apple TV, if you're in Canada, Crave. Almost everything you can think of has a streaming service now, and people are willing to pay the monthly subscription fee for these services. Not to mention the quality of movies being produced on these platforms has certainly gone up with many big name directors and actors turning towards the streaming giants. I mean, think of Martin Scorsese with The Irishman. The Irishman is of course a Netflix original starring the likes of Robert De Niro. You have the biggest names in Hollywood now turning to streaming services to produce and distribute their movies. That says everything. Also for actors, this could likely be because of their contract and exposure, and it's more promising on streaming platforms than it is at movie theaters now. The box office is essentially dead, so anyone hoping to get a good cut of the ticket sales is gonna be met with a much lower check than usual now. Anne Hathaway just appeared in The Idea of You, a prime original movie that years ago would have been a smash hit for cinemas. I mean, it's a Harry Styles fanfic. Moviegoers would have eaten that up when I was in high school. It's like Twilight. <laughs> Streaming platforms are creating content that can rival big blockbusters now and in turn allowing theaters to essentially crumble. Hollywood Strikes is also a major part of why movie theaters are declining. As we all know, last year there was a huge Hollywood strike that lasted a number of months, impacting actors, writers, and directors. Actors stopped making movies and writers stopped writing. No new films were coming to movie theaters, resulting in a huge loss of revenue. But of course, streaming giants continued to thrive with their endless back catalogs of movies. They're never gonna lose out. There is endless content and not just a limited amount of movies that you have the option to see on a random Wednesday, but you can only pick one for the price of what, 20 bucks. You're saving money to be at home and watch an endless back catalog of movies. And saying that, like I said, cost is a massive factor as to why movie theaters are declining. And it's not just the movie ticket itself, it's also concession. And let's not even get started on VIP, uh, which I like to do the most because I collect a lot of movie theater points. So I often opt for VIP because I like being in a lazy boy chair and ordering a meal while I watch my movie. But I'm also hyper aware that the cost of this can be upwards of $100. When you take into account the price of the ticket for VIP, if you're going with friends and how much your meal and drinks can cost. I mean, the meal itself could be $30 plus beverages, plus tax, plus tipping. You're paying a lot for one night out to watch one film which when you think of staying inside and cooking a meal for yourself and using a streaming platform, you would have saved significantly. People can sometimes pay $20 for a movie ticket, which is more than the cost of a streaming service for a month. A month. 
the cost of tickets and concessions is turning people away when they can actually just save money watching from home with food they've made, like I said. You get way more bang for your buck at home and never have to leave your house. Not to mention you can watch whenever you want, however many times you want for no additional cost. Not to mention most big movies now, after two weeks at the cinema, are on streaming services. And that is in part due to the lack of demand of movie theaters. They can't afford to keep these movies at the cinema anymore. And then it's available on streaming before you know it. And of course, people are gonna wait. They're just gonna wait until they can watch it at home. Now, my prediction is this. I think like the cycle of music listening, movie theaters will eventually become a novelty thing. As we know with music, we began with vinyls, then tapes, then CDs, MP3 players, and finally streaming like Spotify or Apple Music. But we have since returned to vinyl. Why is that? It's a novelty. It began as a novelty, but is now one of the more popular ways of listening to music. In my opinion, I just think it sounds better. Obviously, it's not as easily accessible. You have to go out of your way to buy the record, make sure you have a record player, and then manually work to play that and then sit and listen. It's not like you can go on the go with that thing. Just as movie theaters used to have drive-ins, I believe a standard movie theater will be the thing of the past in the next 10 years maybe, making a similar descent into obscurity, almost like blockbuster. But I do believe there will be a resurgence and movie theaters will become something of a novelty. Drive-ins might pop up again or small independent cinemas. I think like everything, there will be a trend, a popularity, a death and a resurgence, but with a different outlook. It won't be the same ever again. And I think we do need to accept that movie theaters will eventually die out, but they will come back at some point. I just don't know in what capacity. Now, I am someone who absolutely loves movie theaters. I still pre-book my tickets regardless, and I try to go for almost all opening nights of movies that I'm excited to see. I mean, even this week, I'm gonna be seeing the bike riders. I wanna see Inside Out 2. I can't wait for It Ends With Us. And I'm unbelievably excited for Deadpool and Wolverine. But that is the thing. I actually haven't experienced a movie release quite like, let's say Avengers Endgame. That was the last time I really saw cinema how it was. After that, obviously we entered three years of unprecedented times, as we like to say. And we've just come out of it very differently with very different perspectives. And it is very sad. As a film lover, I love the movie theater and it's the only place that really removes me from my own mind. I'm sat there, I put my phone away. I'm not thinking about anything else other than what's in front of me. You have better audio, better visuals. It's fully immersive. You just don't get that at home. At home, I'm distracted. I'll pause the movie. I'll be thinking about other things. If I get a text, I'm gonna read it. I don't shut my phone off like I do in a movie theater. I personally love movie theaters, but I do understand the decline. I understand the need for streaming services. I understand why people are going less and less. It all makes sense to me and I can see the trend it's following. It all makes sense and it really is quite sad. But the one hope I have is that it will make a resurgence down the line. We just don't know how long that will take. Like anything, there will be a trend again. It just may take years for it to bounce back. I mean, Blockbuster, there, I believe there is one left in the world, but it's become a novelty. People go to visit it because they miss Blockbuster. But when Netflix came along, we were so excited. We aided in the decline of Blockbuster. As sad as it is what is happening to movie theaters, I do have faith that things will bounce back at some point just in a very different capacity. And I will look forward to that day. I'm someone that's never been to a drive-in, yet there are two drive-ins where I live. It's a novelty, people wanna go. They wanna experience what it was like, let's say in the bloody 50s or 60s, whenever it was the most popular. Maybe it was later than that. I'm not really sure on timelines, but people still go. And I think down the line, movie theaters will make a comeback in some way or another. And I think people will be appreciative of it. They'll view as a novelty, a way to escape, and go and experience something unique because down the line, movie theaters will be a unique experience because people will be so far removed from it. It's a very different time and I think we just have to roll with the punches and take things as they come. But it is sad to see what is happening. Let me know what your predictions are for movie theaters, where you think things are going. If you think there will be a resurgence down the line, if it'll follow the trend of let's say the music industry, you never know what will happen. But that's my opinion. I just wanted to share it with all of you and I will see you in the next video.